generation of scare waveform by using p space so to generate scare waveform go to p space uh, library so enter here v pulse so like this place on this okay trench it after this uh, similarly take one resistor and one ground connect these all are like in series v pulse and resistor and ground and take one voltage marker okay take one voltage marker and place here okay so to um, change the attribute here yeah, enter zero and wire and then select like this and in this uh, p pulse ac g dc zero ac zero v1 is equal to plus five v2 is equal to minus five and delay term is equal to zero nanoseconds so the delay time is called waveform where the waveform will start that means zero onwards that's why they take delay time is equal to zero nanoseconds rise time one nanosecond and fall time one nanoseconds in scale waveform rise time and fall time are very less within the time the waveform is started from and i mean uh, so waveform is minus 5 to plus 5. Within the very short duration, the waveform will increase to minus 5 to plus 5 and plus 5 to, to minus 5. So that's why fall time and rust times are very less compared to pulse width. Here pulse width in the range of milliseconds, but rise time in the range of nanoseconds. These two are very less for scale waveform. Rise time and fall times are nanoseconds. Pulse width is milliseconds and pulse repetition must be two times of pulse width. PER is called pulse repetition must be two times of pulse width. Okay, so after entering this all values, save alter and then okay, connect this schematic like this. After this, go to analysis, set up and enable transient, tick mark on this box, scale box and go to analysis. Transient analysis, print step as it is, no changes, 0 nanoseconds. Final time, 5 milliseconds. So why final time 5 milliseconds means? Uh, so this our waveform times are pulse width is 1 millisecond and pulse repetition is called 2 milliseconds. That's why our final time must be greater than pulse repetition. Maybe 2 uh, or 2 greater than 2 milliseconds means uh, 5 milliseconds. If you want to change final time 10 milliseconds also will get the waveform okay but in the range of milliseconds only so after this okay close and uh, go to analysis set up and uh, enable transient and uh, here uh, print step is okay and final time 5 milliseconds and enable four years enable four year and the center frequency is called one kilo edges and uh, Number of harmonics are 20 here. Okay. Number of harmonics 20 and output to variables V of 1. Okay. So enter in Fourier analysis like this. Output varies V of 1. Number of harmonics are 20 and the center frequency 1 kilo. This is not fixed if you want to change. Okay. According to this, you will get the waveform. Number of harmonics call 20. I'm taking 20. So if you want to take then it also valid okay by taking the number uh, number of harmonics 10 you will get you are analyzing the uh, harmonics okay after this close and so you want to uh, display the waveform in green color select this and on this voltage marker this is called voltage marker place here and uh, okay and enable like this it's clear We want to display the voltage marker, select 
this icon voltage level marker this is called current level marker by pressing this voltage level marker this one here and also if you want to change the voltage uh, this is a waveform color if you want to change the voltage uh, voltage waveform color select this voltage marker and then go to like this and then run then we will get a scale type of waveform it's clear scale type of waveform will be displayed on the screen like this Like this waveform will be displayed on this screen. Okay. Then we want to change the voltage waveform color, one more color. Select this icon and then run. Then it will be displayed like this. Like this waveform color change by using this piece space. Okay. After generating the waveform, press this icon for your series. Okay. So, like this, the four year series waveform is generated. And then here, uh, toggle cursor, enable toggle cursor, and press on this icon. And then, so mark label. So, corresponding frequency that is called 31 edges. Corresponding 31 edges, this is called 4.57 volts. Similarly, press here. Okay, and then mark level 1.5 kilo edges and the corresponding voltage. Okay, and then here also marker voltage marker level marker. So 2.56 kilo edges corresponding uh, voltage is called 0 0.851 volts. So like this, mark the voltage levels. Okay. After this, uh, go to view output file and then here. So, this is called 10 harmonics. Uh, by considering 10 harmonics, uh, this piece by find the total number of uh, total harmonic discharge THD. Okay. So, these are the total number of uh, harmonics uh, by considering total uh, 10 harmonics. Total harmonic discharge can be found by using like this. So this is called 3 into 10 to the power of 2. Okay. So that is called 3 point 10 to the power of 0 2. That is called 10 to 10 scale. That is called 30 percent harmonics are in this waveform. Okay, like this, uh, we have to find the number of harmonics present in the scale waveform. Okay.